Hello everyone, in this video we would be discussing about a very smart tool in Excel known as Pivot Table. Now in short, what is Pivot Table? So Pivot Table is a tool which helps us to analyze, summarize and uh, explore our data in different ways. So that's Pivot Table. So let's take an, an example of a data and let's see how we can use Pivot Table to explore our data. So over here I have a data. Uh, a huge data of almost 600 or 700 rows. So now through this data, if anyone uh, questions me if about, could you show me the, could you show me like uh, what is your net sales state wise and product wise? So it would be very difficult. Rather than being difficult, it is. It would take a lot of time for me to create such reports. But through pivot table, I could do these things in very short time or in very quick time. So let's have a look how pivot table would help us. So before, before we start with our pivot table, I would like to tell you five things or five rules which you need to remember before you start pivot table. So the first one is you should have unique headings to your data, in your data. The second one is it's better that we convert our data, the main database into table format. The third one is make sure there is no empty cell. Okay. Next comes is uh, there should be no empty columns in your data. And the last one is there should be, you should see that there is no merge cell. So if there is merge cell, it could create a problem in your report or maybe in future it could create some problem. So these are the five things which you need to remember when you start creating or using pivot table. Okay, so uh, these are the five things. Let's move uh, to the data and let's see how we can create pivot table. Okay, so over here the first thing is we need to select our data but pivot table is smart enough and uh, smart enough to know or analyze how big your data is so you don't need to select your data you just can you can just click anywhere in the data and you can go to insert and pivot table it would automatically analyze how big your data is and then you can you get an option of you are you need to create it on the same sheet or on a new worksheet so i'll create take the option of new sheet and i'll click ok this is one way or the second way is you could do it with shortcut key so just click anywhere on the data and the shortcut key is ALT N P. That's the shortcut key. Okay, so this is how uh, the screen of pivot table looks like. Now on one side you get uh, these this the fields of your data and on, on the other side on the opposite side the table would be formed. This is one way uh, to see the pivot table but there's an easier way to look at the pivot table also, a view, a change of view. So for that what you can do is you can just right click on the area of pivot table, pivot table option, display and you can just click on classic pivot table layout and you can just click OK. So this gives me a clear picture of where I want my field to be and I don't need to uh, like see like where should it go this is also a way but this i guess is a simpler way for the freshers or i would say who is doing pivot table is learning pivot table for the first time it is a bit easy to analyze where my field should be so now i have taken a question that i need to represent i need to create a report of my net sale product and state wise so what can i do is i can just click this state okay this is one way or i can just pick up the state field and I can just drop wherever I want. I want it row, I want it in row or column. So I'll keep my states in row. I'll keep product. I'll just pick up this product and I'll drag down and drop it in the column. And now I want net sales. So I'll just click over here and you can just put it over here also values. You get all the same things over here. So you can just put over here or you can just put over here. So that's how we can create a uh, table. So this is how you can create a pivot table. So I have represented my data, the big data of 700 columns in more less than 10, 10 rows. So that's how. So anyone can analyze it. Key, anal analyze this that uh, what is my cost or what is my net sales in which state by which product. This is one way 
you can represent your data easily. Now, let's see a few of the interesting functions or interesting options that we have. Now, for example, I need to represent my data in percentage form. For example, percentage of grand total, how much contribution headphone as a product has given me uh, to my net sales. So, what can I do? You can represent your data in two, three form, forms. For example, sum, count, average, or percentage. There are many ways. Uh, there are many options in Python table. Uh, okay, so in this, I'll try to cover few of them. So, if I need to represent my data in percentage form, what can I do is I don't need to do anything. I just need to right click over here, anywhere in the table, uh, show value as percentage of grand total. So, what it is showing me that grand total has given me uh, a total of 22% of net sales from the Assam state and headphone has given me two points. So, each individual, the contribution is being showed in the form of percentage. So, that's one of the interesting thing that we get in Pivot table. Without doing anything, we just have many options. We can explore many things in this. The second interesting thing which I would like to show you or cover up in this video would be, for example, I want just to see, uh, uh, for example, uh, I need to just see any two products, any two products, let's take it headphone and mouse. So one way is you put a filter over, you go to this and you put a filter over here. That's a very uh, normal way. But one of the thing, interesting thing that we have in Pivot table is we can insert a slicer. So slicer could be more attractive and faster. What we need to do is we need to select anywhere on the table. We get an extra uh, tab, I would say, of analyze. You could select over here and you can go you get an option of insert slicer you can click on this and you get all the fields you could uh, insert as many slicer you want so over here what i can do is i can just uh, ins i'll insert one of the slicer over here of product and let's see what how it works so i'll just make format it a bit okay so i have done it and now what let's see how it works so i have a slicer of product being inserted so let's see what it does if i need to see any of the product individually or I, at times i need to see only three products so i can select the product the so one is headphone i'll just click control and select motherboard and mouse see you get as you click the reports get updated over here that is how slicer works so so maybe is an advanced uh, i would say advanced feature of filter i could say and an interesting one it also is a b it also formats our data it's easier and it's attractive also so these are small small things which you uh, which you can see or which you can learn in pivot table so in this video i would end this video over here so i hope this video will help you to understand the basic concept of my one day so thank you guys